when people hear this, the first thing they think is that I'm working on motivational stuff, making you feel better about your studies, etc. And I want, <laughs> um, I want to be really clear that that's not, not what I'm interested in. That's not where I'm going. Yes, I would love you to be warm and fuzzy and happy about your studies, but that's, that's not what I'm focusing on. There's a whole bunch of reasons for this and there's like a lot more detail. It's a massive oversimplification. But for now, in my experience, most of my students have, most accounting students have a fixed mindset for some very logical reasons. A student with a fixed mindset generally believes that being smart is about being right. If I was smart, I would get this right. If I'm not getting it right, then I'm not smart. I need to get it right quickly. And if I can't do it now, I probably won't be able to. Just very summarized, a very summarized view of, of a fixed mindset, but it sets up the type of person we're dealing with. Must be right, must get it right quickly. The answer is very important. Must get the answer right. And if I'm not getting it right, something's gone wrong. The reason I feel this is so crucial for us to understand about accounting students is that at higher levels in their studying, we stop focusing on the answer as much as the process, but we're still dealing with people who believe that answer is more important than process. Fixed mindset students have spent their entire school lives doing well by getting the answer right. In most cases, through memory. Very good memory, good retention, ability to memorize stuff, formats, calculations, etc. They did well. Therefore, their belief about what learning is, is I must get it right. I must get it right quickly. If I remember, if I know my stuff, if I remember everything, if I know the details, I will get the answer right. If I've done four questions, question five will look something like question one to four and I'll know the answer. If I don't know the answer straight away, something is wrong. The answer is important, not the process, the answer. Now we take someone with a fixed mindset and you imagine someone who believes that that's how learning should work and we put them in post-grad. We put them in board exams where the focus is on professional skills, your ability to think, your, your ability to develop a process of answering and solving problems. The fact that we're not expecting you to get the answer right straight away because you've got to break down the problem, you've got to assess, you've got to evaluate, etc., etc. You cannot look at questions and know the answer straight away. Take a student who believes that they're supposed to know the answer straight away, that the answer is more important than the process, and that technical memory skills are the most important thing. Put them in that exam, and what happens? They are going to get frustrated and unhappy if they can't get the answer right quickly because that's what they believe successful learning looks like, which means they will go back to theory to try and get the answer right. They will focus on theory more than practical skills and the ability to apply skills because they're not comfortable in situations where they don't know the answer. The more that society and the profession is shifting, it is shifting underlying skill requirements, which is fantastic. However, I don't believe that we have identified, I don't believe that we have properly identified what those skill requirements are. And the fact that the students that we're predominantly working with do not understand the value of those skills, their belief is that successful learning looks like that. And in post-grad, we find successful learning actually looks like something else. This means that a student's mindset has an absolutely direct impact in how they study on a daily basis. We're expecting students to work on process over answer, to realize that in order to solve a problem, you need to go through a problem-solving process that it is not an instant ability to know something and master it and apply it in every situation immediately. You're dealing with two different belief systems. And I believe most of our students are working towards an exam that doesn't exist anymore. We need to assess whether or not those beliefs are appropriate, whether or not they need to change, whether or not we need to update them, and how they impact what we do on a daily basis. 
I work on mindset and strategy because your belief around how successful learning works, how the world should work, is going to impact the way that you set up your studying. If your lecturer tells you to do something that is contrary to your fundamental belief around how the world works, it is very unlikely that you're going to prioritize that. So if you believe that calculations are crucial and your lecturer tells you to focus on communication, when you're left on your own at your desk, you're going to go back to focusing on calculations, especially if communication is not really your strong point. Our, what we do on a daily basis, consciously or unconsciously, is impacted by our beliefs in how the world should work.